Hi guys, One Wild Survival here. Um, I know there's quite a few videos out there. Most of them seem to be based on uh, leaving the home with everything you've packed. Uh, well, it's a great idea. Uh, they seem to miss the point, and the point of a bug out bag is to get the heck out of there in no orderly fashion. Um, and I want to stress no orderly fashion. Uh, they assume you have time to get dressed, grab all your stuff, and get out. Well, sometimes you do, and sometimes you don't. Uh, what I'm going to show you today is a way to get the heck out of there now. And you're only going to have to grab two things. Um, just an example, let's say you get out of your house with everything and you get to a safe point. You set up camp and drop your gear. Um, since you're going to go hunt for food or go fishing. And no one's going to pack around all their stuff all the time to do traps, fish, snares dead falls, anything else that you got going on. Um, if you do, then great, this video is not for you. Um, so while you're out checking your traps and hunting and fishing, someone comes along or, and steals all your gear at your camp. Or let's say you get run out of camp. You know, it, it could be one person, two people, three people, enough that you cannot go back into your camp. And that's the point I'm trying to make here. Um, so now what are you going to do? And that's just something to think about. And remember, my videos are set up in components. Um, you'll need to see my other videos for more information on the rest of my system. Uh, so let's take, let's take a closer look at what I'm talking about. And that's going to be the butt pack. That's one thing you're going to grab. And then your other thing you're going to grab is going to be your rifle. Okay? And let's get a little deeper into my butt pack. Alright, so here is going to be my butt pack, and one thing I didn't show you guys on the video, and what I'll have in either this side or the other, is going to be a first aid kit. Now I'm kind of making my own first aid kit, so I can have what I want for a level one in the field first aid kit. Um, my M3 kit, now I can't really I don't want to carry this this is way too much weight it's way too big it's way too bulky so that's kind of what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my own kit and both of these will be on uh, some more videos later on um, but I want to do a video on this right now so let's dig into this thing and remember your videos may differ from mine uh, what you pack in there may differ I'll show you a couple different options if you want to do that my kit is basically to sustain me until I can get out of the situation. Um, it also carry me through for a little while longer. Uh, the idea is, is if my pack's ever gone or I don't get my pack or I don't pack my pack, I can live off of what I have packed in here. So I pack everything based off of what I'm gonna use first or what I need first. And these are insured drinks. Um, packed full of vitamins, it's essentially one meal. So I've got in here, I've got two days worth of insured drinks. So there's two days right there. Now what I can do instead of that is I can pack around this. And this is actually a wa aluminum water bottle. And what I've done with it is I've filled it full of rice. And I mean filled it. It is jam-packed full of rice. And the thing about this is it's waterproof. I'll never lose. It'll never get wet. I'll never lose any rice. And it'll always stay good. And that's kind of the idea of that. Now you can either take that or you can take this. Um, this is actually about, I believe, a pound and a half of rice is what I have in here. Um, weight wise this is a lot less convenience wise it's a little more convenient if you go this way or if you go both ways you're going to want to have daily vitamins so you also take the rice and you can do this with the other stuff there's salt and pepper um, any sort of spice that you like, this keeps your morale up. Um, barbecue seasoning, and then Cajun seasoning. And these I got for a dollar a piece. 
pretty cheap, pretty simple. A lot of stuff. This will carry me through at least six months. Salt and pepper, probably a little longer. And then in here, this is my sewing kit. It's in a decontamination box right now. I need to get rid of this. It's a little bit too big and bulky. Um, I wanted it to be waterproof. But I'll go through my sewing kits in another video. And then soap. This is going to be your poncho. And you're going to want the military ripstop good poncho. Because this is also going to be your shelter. So you need to make sure you get a good one. A bandana. That's going to help me strain my uh, canteens. Um, my chloroflock and my canteens. Uh, since we're talking bug outs, we're talking camo paint, which has also got a mirror in it. Uh, Swiss knife. One fire starter. This is my other fire starter. It's got the magnesium on it. And then my tinder. This one's actually got a C on it, which means it's cotton. Essentially, that's uh, petroleum jelly soaked cotton uh, for wet conditions. And then this is my other stuff. This is my fatwood fire tinder, which I've got a video on that on, on the net there. Um, $5. Uh, you can double the size of this and get, well, actually, you can get five pounds for 10 bucks at Walmart if you guys are interested in this stuff. One spool electrical tape, uh, another method light fires with, shaving mirror or also signal mirror. A hundred feet of 550 cord. Um, it's just a sharpener, it's a Gerber sharpener, it's fine and coarse. An extra strap. I'm, I'm going to get rid of this. This is my boot brush for part of my boot care. I'm going to get rid of this. And it's going to get actually replaced with this. This is what I normally use. So I'll probably just switch it out. It's a lot less bulky having this around. You want to take care of your equipment. You want to take care of your boots. Consider now, if you're using this stuff, you're down to just this. Which means you got one pair of boots. One pair of boots that's got to last you for however long you're out. And that's the idea. You don't know how long you're going to be out there. So you want to take care of everything you got. So you're going to have one can of shoe polish. This should last you a full year. Um, you don't always put it on. You just want to keep your stuff taken care of. And that's an applicator. I'll probably get rid of this. I really don't need it. That's my blackout. You can see this stuff in the other videos. Uh, toothpaste. Um, as far as tooth toothbrush. Um, stuff like that. There's plants you can use as a toothbrush, ass wipe, all that stuff. Uh, I'll go into all that in another video later on. And then one full size towel. This is going to be your drying towel. A uh, wash rag. Two pairs of socks. Socks is very important. Keeping your feet dry will help you a lot. You can go a lot farther distance having dry feet, your feet that aren't hurting, and you're taking care of your feet. Two pairs of underwear, same thing. Just keep you from getting rubbed raw in your crotch. Two t-shirts. Cotton, and I can't remember what this is made out of, but Definitely keep it warm. And then BDU bottoms. And these are actual summers. You can see the lines in there. And then a BDU top. So there's my top and everything. So that's enough clothes that should last me plus what I'm wearing. Um, a couple other things you can probably put in there. Uh, snare wire, which I don't have in there. And a straight razor for shaving, and also a strop to keep that straight razor sharp. 
And that's pretty much what I have in my bag. Subject to change. Um, I'll probably change some things around. The total weight of my LBV with all this stuff in there is 32 pounds. So if you grab the rifle, your LBE or LBV loaded down like I've got with can water in the canteens, you're talking 32 pounds. So uh, if you guys have any comments or questions, go ahead and post it below. And uh, if you're interested in seeing some more videos as I move along, uh, go ahead and subscribe. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Take care, guys.